We welcome you all for the live case from Narayana Hospital, Bangalore. And uh, the primary operator is Dr. Sanjay Mehrotra, who is going to be talking to you in a while. So um, again, I would like to thank for giving us this opportunity to present a, uh, or show a live case. Let next slide, please. So this patient is an 83-year-old female, symptomatic severe aortic stenosis, NYHA class 3-4, has a history of hypothyroidism, history of renal disease, creatinine of 2.5 has come down to 1.9 as of now, EF of 30%, uh, atrial fibrillation, left bundle branch block, diabetes, and STS score of 11. You clearly see this is a true uh, high-risk case. Next slide, please. Next slide. These are the echo parameters. The peak uh, gradient is 61, mean gradient is 35 millimeters of mercury with low EF, or if you say of 0.8, EF of 30%. Next slide, please. Next slide. So uh, the area, the CT scan assessment gives us an area of 366, and this patient uh, qualifies for a 23 millimeter valve. A 23 millimeter valve is 12% oversize compared to the analyst. Next slide, please. Next slide, next slide, next slide. So we've selected a 23 millimeter valve. 23 millimeter valve, as of now, is going to go through a 22 French sheet. Next slide, please. CD scan assessments, not much of calcium on the leaflets. Next slide, please. Next slide, next slide, next slide. Yeah. So now maybe we can go live. What we have done is we have taken a six French axis on the right common femoral artery, and uh, we've taken and put a three proglides on the left side, upsize the left axis to an 18 French sheet. We've crossed the valve using an AR catheter, and we'll be showing you the hemodynamics here. Okay, so we can go live now. Okay. Yeah, okay, fine. Fine, I can hear myself. So, as, uh, hello, hi, everybody. Uh, my name is Dr. Sanjay Verotra. Ravindra has already explained to you the details about the patient. Uh, <clears throat> she has significant aortic stenosis, but low EF, but right now I don't see much of a gradient in this patient. Two concerns doing this uh, valve. One is, of course, the entry vascular axis. And, we don't do pre and now we are ready for the pre dilatation. Initially, we were planning we'll not do a pre dilatation. I would leave most of the communication to be done by Ravindra because yeah. I want to concentrate on patients. So I may be talking less. Yeah. You guys can ask questions from Ravindra. My question is. Maybe I would like to have an input from you, Dr. Parikh. What do you think about, should we go pre-dilate this va balloon valve or not? If you look at the gradients, hemodynamic gradients, are they visible to you on the screen? Yeah, we initially saw them, Ravinder, and we were going to ask can you. Can somebody show the gradients? Uh, we see them now, yes. Yeah. Uh, can you explain yeah. to us, and again, I, yeah. for our so audience, I, I, how do you decide to even take on a case like this? Uh, again, we know that we have uh, a li low ejection fraction. Uh, how did you decide that this was a, s a, s a s severe yeah. AS case Before despite the low gradient at the present time? Three episodes of pulmonary edema, uh, yeah. heart yeah. failure yeah. three times in the yeah. last yeah. Uh, So the, the, one important, year. the important question is whenever a patient has a low gradient aortic stenosis. What do you think, Ravindra? Is yeah. this okay? This, this looks good. This looks good. This looks good. Are we okay to go into yeah. this? Yeah, let's yeah. go ahead and so save that's the fire. That's just the, the shape of the wire, which is important to be. Well, that looks like it is not traumatic now. Uh, of course, this is the usual technique which we use for most of the patients. We'll go so I want to change it to a pigtail now. Pigtail is not in. No, no okay, I want a regular wire. So Come to RAO, please. Yeah. Regular exchange length wire. So let me regular exchange length wire. So let me answer that question which Dr. Parikh had asked. How do we evaluate a patient with aortic stenosis and low gradients? We need to definite, differentiate between true aortic stenosis and pseudo aortic stenosis. The way we do is, and sure. the way everybody does is, or it's recommended is, we do a low dose dobutamin stress echo and document whether there is an increase in contra is there a contract heart reserve, is it the true aortic stenosis or not. If the patient's gradient go above mean, mean goes above 40 millimeters of mercury, 
and the aortic valve area remains same or goes down, that means patient you has two aortic stenosis you know, that contact heart is out. Now you can see on the screen here, uh, uh, Dr. Mahirotra has placed a regular wire in the LV. Over the regular wire, we'll be putting a pigtail in the pigtail. LV. Let's get a pigtail, please. This is more of a safer approach. Pigtail, please. Pigtail. Pigtail, pigtail catheter. So, so inside a pigtail catheter, yeah. we'll position yeah, our yeah, M plus yeah. extra stiff wire okay. and I mean, prevent. So yeah. just for purposes of our audience, uh, sorry, say that I mean again. Just if you don't mind, I just want to keep it keep to the basics. That was a beautiful explanation of low output AS and how you decide. For arterial and venous access, you have currently six uh -huh. French femoral arterial access. You have a 21 French on the left femoral artery, and you have a venous yeah. access with the TVP, correct? 18, 18, 18 French on the left femoral artery. 18 French, okay. Yes. The arteries don't look very good, yeah. so that's the biggest concern we have. Don't yeah. pull the wire, please. Don't pull the wire. Keep the wire. Now fix the wire on the table. So the, pr yeah. And the pressure measurements is what we did from the uh, pigtail in the ascending aorta and our m plus Deep catheter in the LV. Okay, hold the wire tight. So here you can now see the pigtail and is... And are you using LV general anesthesia here apex. or is the patient awake? I'll push the pigtail down to the apex. So no, this, we're doing local. this patient the conscious sedation because she's a uh, high risk for general anesthesia as well, but we have a cardiac anesthetic in the room. But presently, we are doing under conscious sedation. Very good. Yeah. Cool. Ah, that's not very good. Can I have the super yeah. stiff wire for a second? This is not good. I think it's caught somewhere in the um, cord. Yeah. yeah. Cord. What we can do is we can just uh, push the pigtail without a wire. Yeah, mm -hmm. and then see. It's not going. Yeah, let's just push the pigtail without a wire. Yeah, just push yeah, the pigtail. Yeah, that's better. Nah, it's not go. Yeah. yeah, you're caught up on a pap muscle. I think we haven't reached the apex yet. Yeah, yeah, mm. looks like it is caught up on a somewhere either in the uh, papillary muscles or somewhere. Do we have to cross again? Do you think so? Maybe we can try to push it to the apex, just push the pigtail. Yeah, yeah. that's better. Now, this that's is much better. better, much better, yeah. Nice. Okay. Yeah. All right, now you can see the pigtail has been positioned to the apex in the RA of view. We'll try to stiff wire, please. Now stiff wire. Any comments from you, Dr. Parikh? No, we're we're watching uh, you work. The other uh, other uh, the other question which I would uh, okay, yeah. The other thing you know th we were discussing about low gradient aortic stenosis. Now again, if patient has a low gradient aortic stenosis and normal EF, the the first thing which we want to look at it in that patient is his blood pressure. If his systemic blood pressure is more than 160, what you want to do is you want to treat the hypertension, bring the systolic blood pressure to below 140, Come call the patient Screen. again uh, in your echo lab or maybe in your outpatient clinic and reassess the gradients again. Now you can see here in this patient, particularly his systolic, her systolic blood pressure is almost uh, 190. Maybe we can treat it a little better to bring the blood pressure down. So this Just is another way to assess when you're looking for a paradoxical low flow, low gradient, uh, severe aortic stenosis with high blood pressure. So you can see the wire is placed. What we'll do now is we'll take a 16, yeah? yeah. 16 Let's balloon. 16 balloon, please. Come this side. Yeah. yeah, okay. Can you just give me the flush? So this is a mammoth balloon. Flush, larger flush, larger flush. I want to flush the 20cc flush. Yeah. Just one second now, the yep, wire sure. is left empty. This is the inflation. Okay, go ahead. Hmm. Yeah, so we need to be pacing the patient at one, 150? Yeah, 150, 160 is fine. Hold the wire. Let's You're holding go. the wire? Yeah. Okay, come to LA. 
LAO, please. LAO, LAO 30, the LAO 15, which was showing the co plan of you. Yeah, center, please. Center now. Okay. Just follow, follow the wire. The wire. Hold the wire. Just, just look at the wire. The just on, see the wire. The on the screen. See the wire. See yeah. the wire. Yeah. See the wire top end. Okay. Okay. We're ready to place in now. Yeah. Pramitra, you will dilate. Yeah. yeah, I'll dilate. Okay. That's fine. Go ahead. So pace the patient at 150 let's, now. Let's, we'll be pacing. Pressure would be down. Floro. One second. Floro. Floro. Not yet. We're going to ask you to pace. We'll ask you to pace. Don't pace now. Let's go into the LV. Okay. All right. Pace at 160. Pace at 160. Pace, please. Pace, please. See the pressure. 160. Pace, please. Okay. We'll go ahead and inflate yep. here. Deflate. Stop pacing. Stop pacing. Okay. You, you can wire, wire, just push the wire a bit. Yeah. yeah. It's not deflated okay. completely. Yeah. The wire is so it bit the out. Wire. Hold the wire. Hold the wire. I think we're fine. Okay. Stop so pacing. That's fine. Yeah. Leave it. Leave it. Yeah. It's a bit hard. Yeah. So, so we did that pre-dilatation, and now we're gonna go with the. We'll put our 22 French sheet. Almost out. Okay. Out. All right. Let's you get can the pull the balloon out. Yeah. Go to 48 mag now. Show us the wire in the LV, and we would like to see the sheet Less as it mag goes now. up. Less mag now. Come. You can come to AP if you want. We'll go back to that co-planner. So, Ravinder, we have a question yep. here. Is is. And I want to see um, both the places. How do you know that you've done an adequate pre-dill in yeah. these types of cases for a balloon expandable taver system? So, so what so we did is we just so used a 16 this, mm balloon, this, yeah. and the idea to do a pre dill is to make You're enough space, yeah. to make enough space so that the valve enters without much resistance. What sometimes happens is uh, it will bleed. Sometimes the effective orifice area is so small that the valve is not able to enter into the LV, and at that point of time, we are pushing uh, on the catheter and kind of uh, doing various other maneuvers to get into the LV. In this particular patient, initially we were planning to do not uh, to not to do a pre-dilatation, but the concern was, what if our sheath is n we are not able to advance our sheath all so the way? So come down now, please. Iliac. Now you can see the sheath is being advanced. Come down now. Yeah, fluoro. Fluoro. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Show us the apex now. Show us the wire in the heart. Sh apex now. Show us the wire in the LV, please. So this is important. We need to see both. Yeah, yeah, show down. Is, yeah, let us try to go. So you can see. Uh, you can stop there. Yeah? Yeah. Do you feel a lot of resistance? A lot of resistance. Show us the wire in the LV. So what we'll do is, I think if. Uh, we'll stop here. Yeah, you think so? Yeah. So this is what we were anticipating, you know. Sure, we come down. Show us down. We're not able to advance a sheet all the way up till the. Um, We'll abdominal aorta, and we don't want to do too much of pushing and pulling. Do you want to try a little bit more? Maybe some. You've movement. already gone up to the iliac yeah, uh, yeah. crest. You see. But you think it's not going to go for? No, I am going to worry about it. Now. All right, sure. So we'll so work from here. Yeah. What yeah. we'll do is show us the wire in the LV. All we need to look at the wire in the LV. Yeah. We'll try to remove the dilator from here. Yeah. Okay. So you yeah. do it. Yeah. Okay. Mm. And then what we'll do is. I'm holding the sheet. Yeah. Mm. And then you'll have to close it. Somebody will have yeah. to hold the sheet all the time. I'm holding. Yeah. I'm okay. holding. Okay. And then you're ready. Not yeah. yet, not yet, not yet, not yet. Okay, close that. Okay. So what we have done is we have advanced the now sheet. Now show the tip. Is tip the, of the tip, sheet. Uh, tip of the sheet is visible? Sure. Down, down. Down. Yeah, we yeah. are in. So let us we are good. Yeah. That's good enough. We'll not go more than that. <laughs> So this is because you know the Python sheet, 14 French sheet, which uh, I talked about, uh, about which I talked in the so talk. So we are okay now yeah. at the lower end. We just have to push Let's the, valve the valve now. Let's do a floor. So now we again have to confirm two things, Raju and company. Please listen to me. I want full concentration, no talking in between. The steps are following. The pigtail has to be positioned. This valve would be advanced now through the sheet. It'll go right into the ascending aorta. When we go into the ventricle, our co-planner view would be in position. So we have to go to LAO 15 that was showing all the things in the same plane. Then we will cross the valve. We will understand our position. 
And then once we are okay with the position, we will be inflating the valve under pacing. It is important to understand how we will pace. We will pace the patient at 160 to bring the pressure down to less than 70. At that time, we would be deploying the valve initially partially. The pacing will continue. You will not do anything to the pacing unless we say stop pacing. Once we have understood our deployment is correct, then we will go full deployment, which is what we call as commit, committing of the valve deployment. After the valve is deployed, we'll deflate the balloon. Mind you, pacing will continue. We, once the balloon is deflated completely, then we will say stop pacing. It's very important, don't stop pacing. If there is any loss of pacing in between, uh, uh, Patil, Vijay, you have to make sure that the yeah. wire goes in. What happens sometimes is that when the patient drops the pressure, there is a movement of the patient. So you need to make sure the legs don't move, otherwise things get pulled out, right? So we're ready. All right, so we'll do a floral check of the valve. Let us see how it is loaded. It's loaded. Okay, mag up, please. Mag, 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 mag more. Mag more, mag more. So now you can see three dots here, one right in the center and two on the ends. All right, I think we see that very nicely. And on, loaded the, correctly. Yeah, and on the external, what we confirm is this is the outer buffing skirt. Yeah, so we can see it. Yeah, yeah. It's ventricular. Ventricular, right. Just, just uh, before so you start, can you... So that's important point. This is something which he wanted to show. There's an outer skirt which has to be towards the ventricle. We see yeah, it very nicely. It may not be visible, but that's fine. Let's, uh, let's go ahead. Okay. Who's on the injector? Is the injector ready? Injector ready? We'll be connecting. Wait, wait, we have time. Yeah, yeah. We have time, we'll connect. Let's go in first. Okay, so. So now we have to pull. Okay, that's fine. So what do you have to do? I don't have the so, wire yet, let yeah. us see. Okay. You got so the you, wire? Yeah, so what do you have to do is. Let's see the pigtail inside the LV. The wire. That's it, show us the wire in the LV. LV wire. LV wire. Go 48 mag. Yeah, that's good. Good. Less mag. Yeah. So wire we have to release important. this again, huh? Okay, so yeah, you'll hmm. have to release this, release it fully. Uh, you just uh, hmm. yeah. That's it. Okay, lock it a little. But now you try to go in. That's good. So don't even lock it. Just go. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Let me see it now. Down. Show us down. Down, down. Yes, okay. Can you push it? If you're no, not I'm able going to push in, it, I'm yeah. going. I'm yeah. going. You can unlock it again. If no, it's going. That's good. Okay. Okay, now show us the wire there, wire above. It's a bit tough there. Yeah. Nice. Show us the wire in the LV. Good. Nice. Some resistance. Okay. A lot of resistance, which I had to let's do. Let's go. <laughs> now let's put our pigtail in position. Yeah. And now we connect to the ventricle. Uh, so here you can see the navigator catheter. You can flush, please. There would be some resistance going. You might have to use the navigator catheter. So what we can do is we can connect the okay, pressure connect. to the side arm of the sheet. Yeah, we can do that. I'll have some blood pressure. And I want the wire now to go into the root of the... I think we are already there. Yeah. Okay. Can I have a bit of contrast in my hand? Go, Elio. Go, Elio. Elio, please. Same Elio, which is the co plan of you. Zoom now. Zoom, zoom now. Zoom. Mag up. Mag, Mag up. up. Mag up. Mag up. More. More. Good. More. This is good. Yeah. Okay. Just one acquisition yeah. small. Uh, it's a bit uh, caudal. Go yeah. a bit caudal. Just a bit caudal. caudal. One more time. Yeah. Small yeah. puff. So we, that's correct. We're confirming our co-planar view. We, we took an aerogram. That looks good to I me. I think that looks good. Yeah. What do you think, Dr. Parikh? There. Can I have the connection now? The injector. Yeah, no, we now? all agree this is a good view for. It should come below everything. Yeah. Just take it below. This looks better. So this is very important for. for okay, push, push. You need to identify push, a push, push. view. You can see the pigtail in non coronary sinus, Suck. and all three of them are in the straight line. Suck, please. All right. So we are ready. What I've done is that this is a navigator Suck, catheter. Take it back in, take it back in, take it back in, take it back in, take it fully back in. Okay, now push okay. it back. Push it back. Empty the catheter from the blood. How much heparin was given? 5,000. Okay, we're okay. Yeah. 
A into target ACD is 300 for these. So CSS. now you would be moving and I would yeah. be advancing. Yeah. Is that right? Let's go ahead. Yeah. So I'm advancing this. Yeah. Show us the Show arch. Show the arch, please, now. Arch. Concentrate, huh? Yeah. Go ahead. Leave the wire. Leave the wire. Leave the wire. Don't touch the wire. Yeah. You control the wire. Rate of resistance. Okay. There. So what we'll do is we'll come back again. Maybe mm. we'll give more torque here. So you can see here how the valve has caught the whole system has caught onto the catheter there. We'll we'll talk it more. So this is the navigator catheter. Let us try to go in now. No? Let's be careful with the wire. Okay. Let's try to go in. My hands are no. slipping. Okay. So give me one minute here. Let's do. Let's come out. Let's come back again. Wire, just yeah. push the wire a bit. Yeah. No, no, don't, don't, talk I, I don't more. want wet. <laughs> I want dry because my hands are slipping. Okay, let's try to go in again. Maybe what we can do is we can. Let's floral. Let's go now. Yeah, it was caught onto the pigtail, so we'll advance the pigtail now back now. again. Yeah, yeah I so see I that. The pigtail That's... back. Now let's go with the pigtail. Yeah. yeah, that's yeah. good. Okay, we may have to in. see the clock panel one more time, but we'll. I think we should be fine. Should we be are fine. still in the same view. We'll take a okay. picture once we cross the valve. Okay. okay. Let us try to cross the LV. Let's go in. Let's go. Okay. Let's enter. Okay. Easy, 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 easy. Well, uh, let's hold the sheet there. Somebody sheet, hold the sheet. sheet. sheet, sheet. Just, Just come put some pressure. Put some pressure on the sheet. Put some pressure. Uh, the sheet came out. Put yeah. some pressure. That's fine. Let us try to do one thing. Let's try to push this thing. Hold. Somebody hold the pressure. pressure. Hold the wire. You push it. Now. Yeah. Hold the wire. Okay. Uh -huh. So we got in. Yeah. Okay. Somebody hold pressure there. So we should be fine. Leave the wire. Leave the leave wire. Leave the wire. Leave the wire. Yeah. We'll do just pull it back okay. a bit. Do you have pressures on the screen, please? Somebody has pressure. Pressure on the screen? Yeah, we have. How much yeah. is the pressure? How much is there? How much is the pressure? Please tell the pressure. Right, so let us go in a little. Just let's go in a little here. So yeah. I think we'll take a picture here. Let's go in. Okay, you're ready with the picture? Yeah. Picture. Sine. Inject. Inject. I think we go in a little bit in. I think we should be fine. Just a little bit in. Fluoro, fluoro, fluoro. Fluoro. I think this should be good. Let's take one final picture. Inject. I think this looks good to looks me. Looks good. What do you think, Sanjeev? Yeah, that looks good to me. Okay, so Floro, you hold the you hold the valve. Yeah. Okay, begin pacing at 160. 160. Where's the pressures? Yeah, pacing on. Tell us the pressure. Okay. 160, 160, please. Yeah, sir, the pacing is 160. Okay. 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 They're going too deep. Good, good, good. 1001, 1002, 1003, 1004. Deflate. Don't, don't do anything. Don't do anything. All right. Stop pacing now. Stop, stop pacing. pacing. Now. Yeah, pacing off. Okay. Let's remove the valve, balloon. Yeah, you have yeah. to push in the wire. There's okay. a bit of bleeding here. Okay. So don't Hold some pressure. Hold some pressure. That's fine. That's, that's okay. That's fine. She's okay. Let's remove the pressure. Yeah. Yeah. Give me one minute. One minute. Yeah, yeah. We're fine. We're fine. Yeah. Just advance yeah. this. One second. One second here. Okay. We'll take one final picture. Yeah, we Why don't see the pressure on the human dynamics. That's fine, that's fine. Just, okay. Yeah, we'll, yeah, we'll just we, get the we, we What's the pressure the now? How much is the pressure? Show us the pressure on the hemodynamics, please. Show us the pressure. We have to connect to it. Yeah, All right, we'll fine. do one. Huh? Okay. 185. That's fine. All right, we'll do an autogram here. Our pressure is 180.75. Fluoro. Fluoro. Okay, let's take a picture here. Show us the LV. Inject. Inject, Inject now. That's good. Wow. good. I think that looks good. That That's looks a good, good deployment, I believe. Uh, a very nice. I are yeah. Nothing needs to be so done. So we have a small issue here. We have some issue with the groin. I think our we sheath, can sell it. Our sheath we has come out. So what we'll do, we'll try to fix that first. I think we'll focus on that deploying a proglide here. Hmm. And I think uh, what you saw is our valve dived in a little. And that is the importance of slow inflation. We inflated slowly. At that point of time, what we well, saw is that back yeah, the valve was into the LV. We took our time, pulled it back yes, just a leave, little, leave, leave. and did the That's final good. inflation. Yeah. I just pull up the proglide. Right? Yeah. yeah. So we'll uh, just pull up the proglide yeah, a bit I think more. So what we'll do? Yeah. We'll remove. No, no, you, yeah. it's we'll fine. We'll remove this. 
you remove the, you remove the whole thing? Yeah, I think Leave I'll the wire inside. Yeah. Leave yeah, the wire yeah, inside. Yeah, it's a deep flex. So what we're going to do is, uh, we're going to leave the wire yeah, it's okay, it's okay, don't worry, don't worry, yeah. don't worry, don't worry. Just remove that. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. Oh, the wire also the came out. The wire's come out. Just, oh. just take your time, take your time. I think what we're going to do is, which is your first probe light. Let us deploy the probe light first. Mm. I think wire was important, ahead, yeah. yeah. Somebody go there. Show us the show us the uh, previous now picture. We, we need to put one more probe light is lost. Yeah. The wire is lost there. Wire so is lost. Yeah. Probe light is lost. So no, the wire is lost now, yeah. so we can't put the probe yeah. light there. Yeah, that's okay. Do you want to deploy one? Just deploy I have one. already deployed one. one. That's yeah. okay. We'll wait. We'll wait. Just hold some pressure. We what we'll do is we'll reverse the protamine, please. Yeah, we'll do. Show us the blood pressure, please. Yeah, Can somebody yeah. focus on the blood pressure yeah. camera? Yeah. Good. Okay. Let I me mean, let me handle it. Let camera, show us the hemodynamics on the screen. No, we can't do anything about it now. Sure. We've been actually connected. We yeah, right. we'll do one. Okay. That's fine. Well, we'll do an autogram yeah, here. Our pressure is 180.75 fluoro. And we lost the wire. Yeah, the wire won't come on. The mm. wire won't come on. Hmm. Oh, that's a problem. Yeah. So what we'll do is just show us the hemodynamics. Yeah. Don't worry, don't worry. So you can see the blood pressure is good. In fact, 200 by 94. Uh, heart rate is 100. Saturation is good. Fine. Patient is fully... Uh, in I don't see okay. any comfortable. comfortable. And what we'll do is we'll show we'll show you the echo also. Let us focus on the cinegram, uh, uh, cine chloro. Can Scene minus. Can somebody play the previous <laughs> picture? Scene minus. So let's get the blood pressure down. Let's yeah, give we'll let's give protamine. So we need to probably go from the other side yeah. and maybe put a covered stand. I think. Yeah. <laughs> I think. I think you're right. I mean, this is going to be a challenge until we have a fourteen French season. No, we don't have the yeah, wire now, yeah, right? yeah, so we yeah, can't puncture yeah, the same yeah, thing. It's impossible. Play the play the picture on the uh, yeah, fluoroscopy. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Scene minus. No, it's Scene minus, don't please. Don't talk right now. I can't do anything about it. Scene minus. Scene minus. I'll, I'll handle it. I'll handle it. Yeah. Okay. Next. Okay. Table down, please. Just show the last picture. Table down. I think that's that's a good aerogram. Uh, we just see a whiff so of contrast. So give a call to Raghu. I think we are. Uh, We're done, okay. We're okay. Right? Yeah. Good. Very nicely that's done. Thank, thank you very much uh, for Mario Life Sciences for having us here.